Now we'll look at the second retail inventory method, the conven conventional retail method. To review an inventory is an estimation is used for many different things, insurance claims, loan applications, budgeting, audit, tests, interim financial reports. There's the gross profit method and the retail inventory method. And of the second method, there are three different ways to calculate it. We're going to look at the second one, the conventional retail method. Retail inventory method in general tends to be more reliable than the gross profit method as it uses the cost to retail percentage. A little more detail goes into the numbers. A little terminology re review, the difference between an initial markup and an additional markup. Then the markup cancellation is eliminating the additional markup but not the initial markup. A markdown is reducing it below original selling price, and a markdown cancellation simply cancels that markdown. So do make a note of this information. They are included in the retail column. So with a conventional retail method, key difference here is where you add the information. Cost of retail percentage is calculated the same way as the other retail method, goods at cost divided by goods at retail, cost divided by sales price. Okay, so the average cost, the conventional retail method is thought to add a lower of cost or market component to the average cost method. And the key difference is when do I subtract those markdowns where the average cost was before the ratio the conventional retail is after the ratio. Change is going to change your ratio just a little. When you're talking about tens of thousands of dollars worth of inventory, it can be a significant amount. Again, the same thing. When do you use that ratio? Again, I'm going a little faster with this video than the prior one. You should probably watch the average cost method first, then watch this conventional retail method. There'll also be a PowerPoint available if you want to print the slides. So average cost retail methods. The traditional net markdowns is included in cost and retail before the percentage. Net markdowns of the lower of cost of market, the conventional retail, is included after. So it's just one change. Can make a big difference, though. Markdowns are evidence of reduction in utility of inventory. So that's what the argument is for this method. The estimation should be at lower of cost or market. Retail method elements. Before cost to retail, freight in, add to the cost column. And this shows how you handle purchase returns, discounts. Abnormal shortages as opposed to normal shortages. Make a note of when you add them, where you add them, to which columns. Is it one or is it both? Employee discounts are added to net sales. Difference between normal and abnormal shortage. Normal is expected. It's normal waste. Abnormal is above that amount. And the key to remember is estimations are an estimate. It's inventory.